Ambush, a surprise attack from a concealed position, flanking, attacking the enemy from the sides or rear to gain a tactical advantage. Encirclement, surrounding the enemy to cut off escape or reinforcements. Guerrilla warfare, irregular warfare using small mobile forces to conduct surprise attacks, sabotage, and raids. Blitzkrieg, lightning war, a fast coordinated attack combining air and ground forces used by Germany in World War II. Shock and awe, a tactic based on overwhelming force and displays of power to cause rapid disintegration of the enemy's will to fight. Pincer movement, a maneuver where two forces attack the enemy from two sides, converging in the middle. Scorched earth, deliberately destroying anything that might be useful to the enemy as one retreats or advances. Siege warfare, surrounding a city or fortification to cut off supplies and force surrender feigned retreat, pretending to retreat to lure the enemy into a vulnerable position. Human wave attack, overwhelming the enemy with a mass of infantry, often at great loss of life. Attrition warfare, wearing down the enemy by continuous losses in personnel and material. Decapitation strike, a focused attack on the leadership or command structure of the enemy to create chaos. Divide and conquer, breaking up enemy alliances or forces to defeat them individually. Envelopment, moving forces around the enemy to attack from multiple sides. Hit and run, conducting a quick attack and immediately retreating to avoid prolonged engagement. Cavalry charge, a rapid attack by mounted troops, often used for shock value. Bait and bleed, provoking two enemies into conflict with each other to weaken both. Double envelopment, a more specific type of envelopment where both flanks of the enemy are attacked simultaneously, often considered a signature tactic of Hannibal. Fire and maneuver, combining covering fire with movement to gain ground or reposition forces. Infiltration tactics, sending small, lightly equipped forces behind enemy lines to disrupt and sabotage operations. Coup de main, a swift, decisive attack aimed at quickly achieving a victory, usually by targeting key positions or leaders. Naval blockade, using naval forces to cut off maritime trade and supplies to an enemy. Island hopping, capturing one island at a time gradually moving closer to the enemy's main stronghold. Preemptive strike, attacking an enemy before they can launch their own offensive. Trench warfare, a static, defensive form of warfare involving extensive trench systems. Typical of World War I, counterattack, launching an attack in response to the enemy's assault. Air supremacy, establishing control of the skies to dominate ground operations. Sabotage, covertly disrupting or destroying key enemy infrastructure, such as communications or supply lines. Psychological warfare, using propaganda, misinformation, and fear to demoralize the enemy and disrupt their decision-making. Spoiling attack, a preemptive strike aimed at disrupting an enemy's preparation for an attack. Harassment, continuous, small-scale attacks to wear down the enemy over time. Strategic bombing, targeting an enemy's industrial, transportation, and civilian infrastructure. Reconnaissance in force, a probing attack aimed at gathering intelligence about the enemy's strength and positioning. Layered defense, a defensive strategy using multiple layers of fortifications or positions. Elastic defense, a flexible, defensive strategy that allows parts of the defensive line to fall back and counterattack when the enemy is vulnerable. Deep battle, a Soviet tactic emphasizing simultaneous attacks deep into enemy territory. Swarming, using a large number of small, fast-moving units to overwhelm an enemy by attacking from multiple directions. Counterinsurgency, a combination of military, political, and social tactics aimed at defeating insurgent groups while stabilizing the population. Search and destroy, a tactic used to find and destroy enemy forces before withdrawing. Anvil and hammer, a maneuver where a holding force engages the enemy while a mobile force strikes them from the flanks or rear. Amphibious assault, coordinated attacks involving naval forces landing troops on a hostile shore. Raiding, conducting a short-term attack on an enemy's position or supply line. False flag operations, covert operations designed to deceive the enemy by making it appear that an attack was carried out by someone else. Diversionary attack, an attack intended to draw the enemy's attention away from the main effort. Carpet bombing, an area bombing strategy without precision targeting. Forward defense, a defensive strategy to stop the enemy far from vital areas. Breach and clear, a tactic used in urban or enclosed environments to clear areas room by room. Combined arms, integrating different branches of the military to maximize their respective strengths. Zone defense, a defensive tactic where forces hold broad, distributed positions. Cordon and search, surrounding an area to contain and eliminate an enemy force. Mine warfare, 
using landmines or sea mines to deny enemy access to key areas. Close air support, direct air support for ground troops, fog of war, the uncertainty and confusion in combat, often exploited for surprise, economic warfare, targeting the enemy's economy through blockades, sanctions, or disrupting resources. Cyber warfare, attacking an enemy's information systems digitally. Salvo attack, coordinated launching of multiple missiles or artillery in one overwhelming strike. Urban warfare, combat within cities involving close quarters battle and heavy use of cover. Breach and hold, penetrating and holding an enemy's defensive position. Overwatch, positioning a unit in an elevated or distant position for covering fire. Wolfpack tactic, used primarily by submarines to coordinate attacks in waves. Creeping Barrage, a methodical advance of artillery fire to protect advancing troops. Penetration Attack, concentrating force on a narrow front to break through enemy lines. Vapor Trail Ambush, deceiving the enemy with aircraft vapor trails for surprise attacks. Shoot and Scoot, is a tactic where units fire and quickly move to avoid enemy counter fire. Smoke Screening, is a tactic that uses smoke to obscure visibility on the battlefield, allowing troops to move, attack, or withdraw while making it difficult for the enemy to see and target them. Night Combat Involve tactics and maneuvers designed for operations in low-light conditions, utilizing darkness for concealment, surprise attacks, and specialized equipment like night vision to engage the enemy effectively. Exploiting prevailing weather is a tactic that involves using weather conditions, such as rain, fog, or snow, to gain a tactical advantage, impairing enemy visibility and mobility while enhancing one's own operations. Hull down is a tactic where a vehicle, usually a tank, positions itself behind cover so that only its turret is exposed, minimizing its vulnerability while allowing it to fire. Flying wedge is a tactical formation where troops are arranged in a V-shape to penetrate enemy lines, concentrating force at the tip to break through and create chaos in the opposing ranks. Tank Descent is a tactic where infantry soldiers dismount from tanks to engage the enemy, utilizing the tanks for mobility and protection while fighting on foot. Frontal Assault is a military tactic where forces directly attack the enemy's front line, aiming to breach their defenses and overwhelm them through sustained fire and manpower. Marching Fire is a tactic where troops advance while continuously firing their weapons to suppress the enemy and maintain offensive momentum.